spring festival celebrated by the Chinese. When heavy traffic flow hits the hubs of communication in China, a country covering 9.6 million square meters, it signals the arrival of the Spring Festival. According to tradition, those who are away from home would return home to spend the holiday with family members. In their concept, sweet home is their ultimate destiny. Spring festival marks the Lunar New Year in China. In an agricultural country like China, people in ancient times, after a year of diligent labor, enjoyed a period of leisure time at the end of the old year and the beginning of the new, celebrating the bumper harvest and offering sacrifices to ancestors and spirits for their blessings. The holiday took its initial shape in the Han Dynasty and was further developed in the Sui and Tang dynasties, when complemented with many folk flavors and entertaining activities. To date. The Spring Festival has become the most time-honored and joyous traditional festival of the Chinese nation. When the Spring Festival approaches, people usually make a thorough cleaning of their houses and their surrounding areas and start to do big shopping, which covers such goods as sweets, fruit, gluttonous rice, cakes, and dumplings. Apart from food, people also purchase decorations, which serve to adorn their houses with festive atmosphere. Parents are concerned about getting new clothes for their kids, and young people are busy selecting proper gifts for the senior people. The Lunar New Year approaches amidst such a preparatory hurry. Cultural accumulation gives birth to festive traditions. In an agricultural country like China, people from generation to generation live on earth-related productions. It is a usual practice for people to offer sacrifices to the spirit of the earth for its blessings and generosity of exempting them from catastrophes. The previous solemn sacrificial ceremonies are transformed to a kind of entertaining performance, which follows strictly. The ceremonial rituals in honor of the earth practiced during the reign of Emperor Qianlong in the Qing Dynasty. The spectacular show, staged by 200 plus performers, attracts myriads of spectators. The ancient signals and door prints used to send away evils and misfortunes. Gradually gave way to couplets and New Year prints in the Song Dynasty. Decorating the house with couplets and New Year prints with strong national flavors is a common practice in contemporary China. Emphasis on moral and ethical code constitutes the core of traditional Chinese culture. By paying sacrifices to ancestors with absolute piety, people express the reverence to and cherish the memory of the pioneering spirit of their ancestors, and more importantly, wish for health and progress of their future generations. In the temples and monasteries, devout men and women pay pious religious homage to Buddha in the rhythmic melody of wooden clappers, praying for favorable weather and good harvest, as well as peace and stability. The sacrificial activity, practiced with prayers facing the door while standing in the temple, is the Buddhist annual worship for the heaven. According to the legend, the stone monkey is capable of sending away evils and ill fortune. Its loyalty to its post as a guard under whatever circumstance serves the best interest of the general public.
In contemporary China, people pray for good fortune, health and well-being through diversified means. Letting off firecrackers and fortune-telling have long been a thing of the past in big cities, which are replaced by new ways of entertainment such as sounding auspicious bells practiced by the old and the young alike. The spring starts in the southern cities in subtropical region. Flower Festival is an annual event celebrated in Guangzhou at the end of the lunar year. A festival boasting of a history of 100 years, during which myriads of flowers are blooming in a riot of color. Chrysanthemums of different kinds, including golden and four-season chrysanthemums, are in full blossom. The golden fishes, known as flowers in the water, are swimming in joyful rhythm, and the blossoming narcissi signal the arrival of the spring. The whole world is permeated with festive atmosphere with people holding flowers and kumquats on hand and carrying peach trees on their shoulders. It's the first time I spend the spring festival in China. His as well. As overseas Chinese residing in places out of China. The beautiful Guangzhou Flower Festival not only attracts crowds of local residents, but also the overseas Chinese and foreign friends who love China and its traditional culture like Ji Yu Ran and her husband. People of distinct skin color who speak different languages gather happily together to share the joys of the jubilant national holiday. A rich variety of delicious foods are served during the festival. Now that people are better off, some families have the New Year's Eve dinner in restaurants instead of at home, which saves the wives the trouble of preparing the food. It is a moment of family reunion and happiness. On occasions when one of the family members is absent, a chair and a dinner set will be reserved for him to enjoy different courses and traditional cuisine with implication of good fortune, as if he were present. Several dishes are served as the family is reunited. You will often hear many people wishing the best of luck and abundance of year after year to connote people's longing for a bright future. The New Year's Eve is the last night of the Flower Festival where people go out for enjoyment after dinner. When celebrants and flowers are integrated joyfully in one, the festival reaches its zenith. The vastness in territory gives rise to cultural diversity in customs and traditions, which vary from region to region. An ice lantern is a kind of folk art in northern China. Ice lantern festivals are organized at each Lunar New Year. In daytime, the sunshine creates wonders in the world of ice. At night, the sculptures are illuminated from the inside with colored lights, presenting a kaleidoscope picture of a unique fantasy land. The snow and ice art lovers turn the freezing cold winter into the pleasant warmth of spring. Nothing is more joyful for the whole family than to make dumplings together. We call them jiaozi in Chinese, a kind of typical traditional food in the north of China, whose origin could be traced back 2,000 plus years. CCTV New Year Entertaining Evening Party has greatly enriched the original tradition of the New Year celebration. While appreciating the TV program consisting of songs and dances, people happily await the first toll of the New Year's bell.
New ways are taken up to celebrate the traditional New Year in contemporary China. Instead of paying New Year visits personally, people now make phone calls to relatives and friends far and near alike to convey the New Year greetings. Jiaozi are usually ready right after the toll of the New Year's bell. Candies and coins used to be wrapped in the fillings of jiaozi. According to seniors, whoever eats such jiaozi will enjoy an auspicious and happy year ahead. On the occasion of the traditional New Year, people pay New Year's visits to relatives and friends with gifts and exchange greetings. The lion dance is one of the traditional folk sporting events. According to the legend, lions are able to send away ill fortune. Lion dances are usually performed in parades along the streets to pay New Year's visits to the shops and households amidst the popping of firecrackers. Temple fairs are the most entertaining and interesting event during the festivities. As an ancient capital of China, Beijing hosts a whole variety of temple fairs annually during the Spring Festival. Art troops and folk artists from different regions gather on stage to present their artistic talent and wonderful performances. Chu Yi and acrobatic shows are highlights of Chinese folk art. Allegros, storytellings, cross talks, and two-man acts. Bring laughter and fun for the old and young alike. Peking opera, as the quintessence of Chinese culture, is a must for such celebrations. Henan Opera, Pingju, and Anhui Opera present their traditional repertoire one after another to entertain the public. The commodities on sale, the articles on display, and the entertaining programs performed in the temple fair present a feast for the eyes, adding a special festive flavor to the holiday. The refined calligraphy works and the artifacts of the veteran artisans constitute many a variety for people to appreciate. The Diablo play facilitates to expel the hard work of the outgoing year and the coldness of the winter. The kites flying high up in the sky give expression to people's immeasurable joy to greet the early spring. The unique interpretation of the beautiful land by artists with contemporary means of plastic art adds to the diversity of the festivities. Kids have the most fun in temple fairs. Their excitement is always well perceived from their smiling faces. What attracts the most public attention are snacks. Hundreds of snack stands join to constitute the gastronomic street, where people go to taste a good variety of local snacks such as soybean milk, sticky sweet gluttonous rice pudding called niangao in Chinese, and kebabs. The tea and soup prepared by the giant copper pot in form of dragon head carry extra sweet flavor.
The flower fair culminates amidst the presentation of the lively programs such as flower display, carrying sedan chair, walking on stilts, the yanga dance, land boat performance, and others. The local performance of Henan called Taige could be traced back to the Warring States period more than 2,000 years ago and is still practiced by the local people. The artist, by introducing the folk legend and story in the stilts, present the performance in an absolutely lifelike style, full of humor and wit. Walking on stilts on platform is the most difficult part of the show, whose adventurous acts demonstrate the dexterity and skill of the art gender. The festive scene in the southeastern part of China is imbued with a distinctive atmosphere. The southerners inhabiting the area near Qin and Huai rivers, with their clever hands, elaborate tens of thousands of lanterns in different forms, like lions, rabbits, and fog, and have them hang up in rows to decorate the streets. Those wishing for good luck and happiness usually adorn their houses by hanging colorful palace lanterns with unique designs. The Lantern Festival, which falls on the 15th of the first lunar month, marks the end as well as a new climax of the Spring Festival. Chinese usually eat sweet dumplings made of gluttonous rice flour during the Lantern Festival, an important custom symbolizing family unity and peaceful coexistence of neighbors. At the night of the first full moon of the Lunar New Year, Celebrants flock in the streets to enjoy the lanterns and the many entertaining activities held for such celebrations. Colorful lanterns play the principal role on such occasions. Lanterns of distinctive forms display their respective glamour, adding radiance and beauty to each other. The decorative lanterns, whose exquisite designs are based on ancient and legendary stories, depict relevant figures in a lifelike manner. The brightness of the lanterns and the neon lights makes the whole country like daytime. The night celebration of the festival is colorful and diversified, presenting a picture of peace and prosperity. The Chinese Spring Festival is as time-honored and diversified as its culture and history. To be part of the traditional festive celebration, each celebrant not only enjoys the nourishment of the distinct Chinese culture, but also derives from it stronger confidence in the future and will consequently be enlightened with the stimulus to work harder for the economic prosperity and social progress.